you have prolonged fever for seven days. Uh, your bones feel so painful, like they're going to break. About 100 million people get infected with the disease. And then I would say about 40,000 die from the disease each year. Dengue fever, a mosquito transmitted disease mostly found in tropical areas of the world, could be spreading worldwide and it could be linked to climate change. Stagnant floodwaters after a storm have been linked to deadly diseases like dengue fever in many communities around the globe and now has been reported here in North America. The London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine used a range of models to measure the potential impact of climate change on the length of the transmission season and population at risk of dengue. An emergence of cases in Florida and southern France are really a, a kind of wake up call for um, the, the kind of early outbreaks that we might potentially see. The more extreme weather events are going to increase the risk of mosquito transmitted diseases. And suddenly we see uh, disruptions on the scale of um, Ian, where you see yeah, infrastructure break down and these mosquito breeding habits emerge everywhere and very difficult to control. Thriving in warm, humid climates, the insects lay their eggs in standing water and flooding spurs their growth. Florida reported a case after storm surge flooding from Category 4 Hurricane Ian in the fall of 2022. According to the CDC, mosquitoes cannot live through the winds of a hurricane, but the mosquito strains that can spread viruses may increase two weeks after a hurricane, especially in areas that have received more rainfall than usual. I mean, the field of understanding the impact of climate on infectious disease has been a you know 20 year endeavor to gradually build the evidence towards understanding their future impact. It's been on the rise since the 50s. And only really now we started to get some major traction as, as global governments are starting to understand the impact emissions are gonna have. There seems to be really only one saving grace for areas like the Northern latitudes where we live. Our winter freezes can help, but that could change too. These mosquitoes can survive sub-zero temperatures for a certain period of time, but not prolonged time. And if it can acquire properties to allow it to survive our winters, it may learn to adapt. So if we saw a 3.7 degree increase in temperature by 2100, we'd see 4.7 billion people at risk of dengue by the end of the century. Mm -hmm.